Ice Crappers, Tom from the Ice Crap app, and our new weekly reporting will be happening every Sunday, so make sure you tune in to see what prices have been reported over the last week. Today is Sunday, August 18th, 2019. We want to talk about some of the steel and iron prices that we've seen reported over the last week. More importantly, if you want to get some more updated and current market and market price news during the week, make sure to become a Patreon supporter where you'll be able to get multiple updates a week on where the market is and what's going on other than our Wednesday and Sunday editions. So on the steel side of things over the last week, in Sykeston, Missouri, number one steel, 120 a ton. Douglas, Georgia, cast iron, $100 per ton. Council Bluffs, Iowa, light iron, 110 per ton. Gurney, Illinois, number one steel, $100 per ton. Afton, Oklahoma, number two unprepared, $150 per ton. Bedford, Indiana, number one steel, $80 per ton. Now in the last week, we have started to see some of these prices increasing with that market update, excuse me, that market price increase that was talked about in July going into August. We've seen a lot of markets jump 10 to $20 per ton, maybe not immediately, maybe a five, seven cent, uh, seven per ton jump week to week, but we have certainly seen these prices jump. Freeport, Illinois, unprepared HMS, $90 per ton. Northern Cambria, Pennsylvania, tin, $4 per 100 pounds. Colchester, Vermont, number one steel, $60 per ton. Little Rock, Arkansas, unprepared HMS, $60 per ton. Odessa, Texas, unprepared number one, $60 per ton. Now, depending on where you are in the country, of course, you're going to get different prices. And we'd love to hear some of the prices that you're getting, either by posting below or reporting them right through the Ice Crap app. In the last week, while we've seen a very hectic and rocky copper market, what we have seen is a little bit of a stable market. And we've seen some of these prices ticking up a couple of cents, but nothing too crazy week over week. In Buffalo, New York, Christmas lights were reported at nine cents per pound. Rockaway, New Jersey, Bear Bright, $2.25. Richland, Texas, number one tubing, $2 per pound. Compton, California, aluminum siding, $0.25 cents a pound. Jefferson City, Missouri, sheet aluminum, $0.47. Cents. That seems to be a little high. It could have been a 60-63 grade. Sometimes there are misrepresented prices that jump in there. Hillsboro, Oregon, number two tubing, one fifty six. dollars Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, yellow brass, $1 per pound. Enberg, Indiana, insulated copper wire, $1.05. Colorado Springs, Colorado, brass shells, $1.20 a pound. Newcastle, Delaware, Bear Bright, $2.05. Now, as we watch these markets, we continue to pay attention to a lot of outside factors from the tariff negotiations, the stock market, different reports on oil, different reports on metal, as well as multiple other influences that will have some type of effect on the scrap metal market. Right now, as we're finishing up the eighth month of the year, we don't expect to see any drastic, huge changes for the next four months, but we're going to have to stay tuned because this has certainly been about a year and a half where we haven't been able to predict much of anything with these markets. Guys, this is Tom from the iScrap app. Every Sunday, we try to do our weekly reported prices. Make sure you tune in. Today is Sunday, August 18th, 2019, and until next week, I'll scrap you later.